I will solve your dilemma. How? I will kill Sir John Huntley in his cell. People will assume friends or family of the victim have done it. Justice will have been done, and you will have played no part in it. Neither the Catholic nor Protestant lords will turn against you. Also, well, monsieur. You think it dishonorable? Yes. Disreputable? Yes. Many a man would risk his life for you, but few would risk their honor and their reputation. I would. That is the measure of the great esteem in which I hold you. Bonsoir, monsieur. Je suis que c'est je ne pas en français. Good night, sir! You will join the flight, sir! Whatever he did, he did out of love for you and for the Catholic faith. He saw his queen abused by filthy Protestants and he Mary, could not bear it. You must witness it. I know. No, no. You say he wished to be a mother one day. I pray for that to happen. But forgive me. You are childless now. You do not know the love of a mother for her son. You act out of ignorance. Please. When you yourself have a son, would you understand the grievous harm you do me now? And your majesty will break your heart. You will not be able to look at your son without remembering mine. You will not be able to look at your son without remembering mine. So please, your majesty, your majesty, spare the life of my son. Please spare the life of my beautiful son. Spare the life of my son. Your final words. Beware of the bastard. The bastard? Your half-brother, Lord James. How dare you? He told me that whatever I did to that man with the scar, it would have your blessing. Can you die with such lies on your lips? Indeed. this moment. This was not a Catholic who murdered a Protestant. This was a Scot who murdered a Scot.